<clears throat> so as I'm on my way back after a beautiful day of hiking by the Akawa River here from in Moss Bluff, uh, thought I'd make a quick uh, political talking video so you can cut it off right there if you don't like my politics. But uh, you know, I was watching um, on Rumble. I don't think you, you could find it on YouTube, but uh, Glenn Greenwald, he was on, uh, oh, I can't remember the, the comedian's show. But anyway, he's, he kind of broke things down for me. And uh, it all made sense, you know. It's kind of depressing, really. So if you don't want to get depressed, just cut the, cut the video off. But it's very true, you know, because um, I think his name's Russell. Russell something or other. I love him. He's a British. Or I think he's a Brit. Got a got a really neat accent. He's on Rumble. And uh, but anyway, uh, you know the way Glenn explained it, he says, you know, anytime we do get a good candidate, and uh, you know, I know that a lot of people don't like him, but I like. Uh, I think Ron, Donald Trump was a, did a pretty good job. I didn't see where he any any of his policies um, were bad. But you see how the 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 whole establishment went up against him. I mean, it was insane. They're still against him. They're still running that January 6th commission. And you know, and, and I know why people get depressed because I mean, look look at who's running the committee for the most part. It's that uh, idiot Liz Cheney. Now she's supposedly a Republican. No, she's she's the biggest rhino I've ever seen. I mean, she she's worse than Nancy Pelosi in my opinion. Oh my God, I mean, you know, why she's a, she ought to just switch parties and run in Wisconsin as a Democrat because um, I don't think she has a chance as a, as a Republican at this point, if, if the people of Wisconsin have been paying attention at all. But, uh, so anyway, I guess the thing that I got out of it is it just don't seem, and of course I vote, you know, and I encourage everybody to vote, you know, but uh, I just don't see where we're going to turn this ship around. You know, the authoritarians and the, uh, the neocons or the rhinos, I mean, they... You know, pretty much the when you get in there, you know, who's who's running the government? It's not really who you elect. It's the it's the FBI, it's the CIA, it's NSA. You know, all of the establishment pretty much uh, runs the government, and these are just your elected officials or figureheads. And uh, you know, they're going to just keep taking away the freedom until the Constitution just doesn't exist anymore. That's the way I see it. And uh, they, they've already debased the currency. And the Democrats spent another, to what, $2 trillion? Called it infrastructure. Yeah, right. You know, now they're trying to do that build back better. I hope, hope to God that doesn't go through. If that goes through, the, the, the United States is done. We're done. Because uh, I'm pretty sure in that bill, they grant uh, all, the, all the illegal aliens that have been pouring across the border and being shipped all over the country, which Democrats are all for. My wife was all for that. But, uh, you know, they're, they're going to give them voting rights. And how do you think when you pay, especially if you put them all on welfare, because that's the way Democrats do. You know, they went into the cities. I've talked about this in a previous video. And they used your taxpayer money of hardworking people to buy votes. That's the way they get votes. And so if they give all the illegal aliens some money to help them survive, they're going to vote Democrat. You know, so then the Democrats will take over even more. I mean, look at how messed up everything is right now. So it just seems to me we got to have a, well, a, a civil war more or less, so hopefully a peaceful one. And uh, Florida and Texas should join together. Tennessee, like, you know, right now, of course, Utah. Reason I include Utah is uh, they got their own currency. I don't know if you've seen those gold backs. Um, so they're already printing their own currency because it just seems to me just let the Democrats take the federal government let them work together, you know, all the Democrat states, and just split the United States right down. And then we, if we can get away from the Federal Reserve System that Woodrow Wilson put in back in 1913, you know, we can form our own country and, uh, and be free. And, uh, and then, you know, you know, do it the way the founders wanted it done or had it, had it done up until 1913. You know, have our own currency, you know, no, no central banks, any of that stuff. I know it'll never happen. It's wishful thinking, but I always dream, you know, because I just don't see how you coexist with these authoritarians. I mean, I, I just don't, you know, I mean, Shift, Adam Shift, I mean, the guy lies. Fachi lies. I mean, there's nobody up there that's got any character at all. I mean, the things that Fachi's done 
are horrible. You know, sticking dogs' heads in cages and letting bugs loose on them to see what the effects. That's a that's sadistic, man. You know what is? Oh, they said that uh, back in. I don't know if it was AIDS or what, but they were experimenting on black children or black kids, you know, just to see what the effects of certain things would be as treatments. And I, I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff that you hear. I mean, the dog story is true. I know that one for sure. I, I didn't know about the, 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 the black kids stuff back in, I think it was the swine flu. That's what it was. They were trying to find a cure for that. So uh, you can see that these people, they're, uh, I mean, it, I, I would call them morons, but I think it's that they're, they must be smart people. I mean, Fauci makes more money than anybody else, but he's sadistic, man. And that's the people we got running the country, you know. And, and then you've got Americans, that, well, half the country, it looks like, that's going along with all of that. I don't know why people want open borders. I mean, the only good thing that's come out of those open borders for now, and not, it won't work if they, get, if they pass that law to give all the illegal aliens votes, but uh, for now, a lot of the uh, Democrat cities in Southern Texas are going Republican because they they don't want open borders and they see what it's destroying their cities, you know. Uh, in fact, one of them, one deep blue city, I can't remember the name of it, just went red, you know. So so the Democrats are pissing a lot of people off. So that's, uh, that's one good thing, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. You got all those people in Austin, Texas that have moved in from California that are going to vote Democrat, you know. And no matter how, how good their life is in Texas, they, they just want to, you know, get their politics back to where they destroyed in the first place. The locust effect is what I called it. All right, so that's just it. Just want to make a talking video. See how I'm enjoying the day. I tell you, what a treasure that we have here in Florida. I saw, I never saw, I did see two people. They were on their farm, though, but not out hiking. I nobody on the trail today except me and the birds, lots of birds. And I, I rarely see a gator up through here, you know, which is good and bad. I, I like to see them from a distance, you know, and up here on this on this uh, trail, you know, I, I'd feel perfectly safe as one was sitting right down there, you know, so plus, uh, you know, well, here comes another boat. All right, that's it, I'll sign off. I won't even do the mantra because I thought it was a kind of a depressing video, but, uh, Peace out, stay free, and vote Republican, please, God.